Hey guys, it's Madison. I wanted to, first of all, say hello. It's been forever since I've made a YouTube video. Now you guys know the reason why I haven't been able to upload on a regular schedule is because I was on season two of American Idol, but I wanted to make this video and actually give you guys a little bit of a backstory on, you know, the behind the scenes of the show and kind of tell you guys a little bit more about myself because I have this whole new fan base and I just want to let you guys know, you know, who I am and what I stand for and just that I'm more than just the girl on American Idol. So um, without further ado, let's get this show on the road. My American Idol journey started I think back in October, late October, um, and I had gone up to Buffalo. I live in upstate New York, so I went up to Buffalo and they were holding these open call auditions, which you guys know is the B Idol bus tour. It was a really cold day, really, really long day, um, but I auditioned uh, in front of a random producer and she passed me through, which means that she gave me the opportunity to sing in front of Katie, Lionel, and Luke um, in New York City. So that was how it all started. And um, from that point, you guys kind of know the gist of everything that kind of happened because it was televised. Um, but I had auditioned for the for the three judges. Um, it went way better than I thought it ever would have gone. I just kind of was sucked up into this whirlwind of just singing my butt off every single week and and just you know competing for American Idol. And I have met so many incredible people along this whole journey. Oh my God, there's too many people to name, but. I, I just got so close to a lot of the minors in the group because we all had to kind of stick together. We all sat in school together. Us as minors had certain times where we could go in, you know, in the morning and work and then we had to leave by a certain time. It's by, you know, laws and stuff for minors. So we all kind of like were in a group from the beginning. So I remember I started getting really close with people during Hawaii, um, which was top 40. I got really close with Drake McCain, Mika. Mika, I'm so sorry, girl. I don't I forgot what your last name is. I don't know how. Drake Mika. Mika and me, they, that was like our group. We just had so much fun together. We still are in contact. The past few weeks have been hard for me to be in contact. Uh, if you guys know me personally, you know I stink right now at responding at messages because there's so many of them and I just can't keep my head above the water with them. So um, I promise things are gonna go back to normal. But um, yeah, so we, we just got really close and um, so many more people I met along the way. I mean, Alyssa Ragu, Riley Thompson, Dakota Cohen, just so many people and I'm just so grateful. But anyway, the way the show does these weeks is kind of, after you perform your song for the producers, they prove that, you know, this is a cool song, like we like it for you, go ahead, do it. What I wanna stress in this whole video is that American Idol gives so much creative freedom to the artists that are in the show. There was not one time on the show where I was like, I wanna do this song, and they're like, no, you can't do that song because we just don't want you to do it. Like, never. It's like, I could've, <laughs> I, I could've said like, hey, let me sing Happy Birthday. They would've been like, we don't know if that's the best choice for you, but they would've let me sing it anyway. So, American Idol was so amazing in that regard and so many other regards. The way they would do it is, you know, we would rehearse with the band. This is, band started uh, end of Hollywood week, start of top 40 that's when we started to get to play with the band and so we would get our songs cleared um rehearse with our vocal coaches rehearse with the band once or twice and uh basically left it up to us uh to make sure we were ready by show day we would have a dress rehearsal and then there we go everything that you guys saw was what truly happened there was nothing planned like the judges never had anybody pre-planned in mind to go through it was seriously like the most honest situation. I wanted to get that point out. I know a lot of people already know this, but American Idol is such a true, honest show and they do not rig anything. I mean, even if they try to, there's laws prohibiting them and they have people there from other companies making sure that, like for the live shows, you can't rig the votes. There's people there watching the votes, making sure they're all honest votes. So this show is 100% honest and true. I just want to get that out there from somebody that made it to top three, made it third place. I was there for the whole duration of the show. I saw everything that was going down. So I've seen a lot of people like spreading rumors and stuff that American Idol has rigged something in, 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 in someone's favor and it's not true. It was up to you. You guys decided and that's amazing because it all happens for a reason. So thank you guys by the way for voting. I love you guys so much. This is crazy that I made, literally that I made even like top 40 like or even past the first audition. Literally thank you guys. Um, and Luke, Katie, and Lionel. You guys gave me the first opportunity to play for your guys' votes. So I love them to death. Basically when live shows start, it's kind of like a totally different ball game. Um, we still have the same like week to week, like 
you choose a song, usually they get it like a week ahead of time, um, and then you choose a song and then you start practicing it, play it for executive producers, passes, go to the band, play with them, get any type of arrangement you want down, and then you just practice a few times with them and then there you go, you're on stage. It's just, it was such an incredible experience. And one, it's the best thing I've ever done in my entire life and I would never change anything for the world. I am not upset over coming in third versus coming in second or coming in first because I think it's like the coolest thing to ever to say like, hey, like yeah, I got third place on American Idol. Like that's so cool. And I, I'm just grateful for my fans because they were the ones that pushed me to get me to third place and that's incredible to me. I mean, millions of votes came in every single night and it was just incredible. And I just want to thank you guys because I, a year ago, you guys don't even know who I was. I was some girl playing bars and restaurants in upstate New York. Um, I really had nothing going for me. I didn't know where I was going. I didn't know what I was doing. And now I was on this huge, crazy, amazing whirlwind of a time and I learned so much so quickly. And now I have a vision and I have a direct idea of where I want to go. And I want to share that with you guys um, right now. I mean, there's a lot of people who are asking like, what's next? Like, what are you going to do? I have been writing like a madman um, to get some songs out to you guys. I know I only have one released. It's on like iTunes and Spotify. It's called Need a Little Heartbreak. I released that last year in June. Now I'm excited to be back home having time to write some stuff and get it out for you guys while you guys are still you know, here watching, and I just want to make you guys proud and release some stuff that you'll love to listen to. So that's number one on my list is get some music out. Two is we're booking a lot of really cool gigs right now. Um, I have personally in mind, I haven't really discussed it with anybody yet, but I want to do like a meet and greet tour like obviously I'll, I'll play. I don't think I can manage to do a full like huge US full scale tour yet. One, I don't have enough original music out. And two, like I think it needs to kind of go in steps. So I really just kind of want to do, you know, kind of a few select states where I do like a meet and greet, I'll play at a venue and, and, and get to meet you guys and just really be able to thank you guys in person for doing what you did for me because I, I never would have thought in a million years, like a year earlier from now, I would have never been like, <laughs> Girl, you're gonna be on third place on American Idol and you're gonna have millions of fans across the world. And it's just something that doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. And I'm, I'm so lucky um, and I'm grateful. And I wanna say thank you. So music first, touring and playing second. Third, I really wanna get some merch out. I'm so excited, you guys. First of all, merch is really hard to design. Like, you think it's really easy, but then you go in and you're like, I don't even know what to put on a shirt. Like, what do I do? OG curb stompers. If you know, you know. <gasps> I can literally write hashtag vote for Randy and you guys will know what that means. I'm dead, that's what I'm gonna do. Ah, I'm dead. Whatever you guys want really, you want sweatshirts, hats, shirts, pants, shoes, I uh, probably not shoes, I don't really know, or pants, probably like sweatpants maybe. I'm not that cool, I don't know how to design shoes or, or actual like jean pants or anything like that. I, I wanna make sure you guys feel like I'm a, like a human being and I'm like you guys and I'm not just somebody that comes off the show and is like huh, I don't have time for my fans anymore like whatever buy my single huh like that's just not what I want to do so oh my god if you guys have noticed I promise I'm the same person um I don't have any extensions in right now so my hair is real short um usually on the show I have hair like down to my stomach and that's the way I like it but unfortunately my natural hair does not agree with me and will not grow past my shoulder blade so <sighs> this is what we got for this video I did not want to curl them and curl my hair and then put them in I'm just lazy today not lazy just exhausted I know this video isn't kind of something that is like a funny comedic video but it's something that I wanted to get out to you guys. I mean, it's really important that people know kind of like the behind the scenes of American Idol. And it's not just this big, huge, like national TV set where like you get treated like you're just a piece of the moving machine. You really are treated like family there. And I wanted to stress that. I mean, there's so many amazing like producers and coordinators like Ryan Edley, Megan Trindell, Maddie Mason, Patrick Lynn. You guys make the whole thing go round. Like, I want to thank you guys for that. 
This whole journey was incredible and it was easy because of you guys. And I know you guys did all of the hard work. I mean, yeah, we came and we sang our butts off, but you guys were the ones to cater to us and make sure we were happy and you know, healthy and make sure that we're not overworking ourselves. And that's super important, especially on a show like this where you get so caught up in trying to win and, and you have so, all this work all day and you sing all the time and you're exhausted but you have to come in early in the morning it's like you guys made it so much easier for us and i want to say thank you because you're incredible you know there's other people like the executive producers trish and meg you guys are incredible you guys really just guided us and you know helped us choose the right songs for us and made sure that we were happy with everything and robin k you were incredible with helping us clear songs and making sure we were happy with songs and I'm just so grateful to have met you guys and some producers that really helped out, Annie, Melissa, all the film crews. I really didn't get a chance to get too close with the film crews, but I know uh, Ryan Goebel, you did some amazing shots. I mean, you did some amazing B-roll footage. Always so nice to me and my dad, even though we never got like a handshake right and we always tried to like fist bump, but it would never work because <laughs> I'm awkward and I can't. I just, for some reason, I can't shake someone's hand in the moment. Thank you. Jensen and his film crew, um, along with Melissa, who's the producer, came out with me to my hometown and did my hometown visit with me. And you guys were so awesome. Um, I just, I, that day was a dream for me and you guys made sure that it was and it was just the most fun day of my life and I'm just so happy that I got to meet you both. To the security guards, Mark and Lucas, Lucas accompanied me to my hometown visit. Mark was usually there somewhere every single day. Um, you guys literally are incredible um, and like, they weren't afraid to throw hands if needed. So it made me feel really cool to have a bodyguard like walking right next to me, so thank you guys. American Idol, everybody at American Idol. You guys changed my life forever. I just, I'm such a huge life supporter of American Idol from this point on, and I'm living my dream because of American Idol. So if you guys are interested in auditioning, please don't doubt yourself, just go for it because I had no idea what I was getting myself into and I freaking made third place on American Idol, like that's crazy. Literally, like what the heck. Guys, support American Idol, please. If you watch singing shows, watch American Idol because one, the contestants on there deserve to be recognized and they deserve for their talent to be seen. Are you ready for season three? It's coming up soon on ABC. Oh my god, I, I just got nostalgia from, I remember posting my first post about it. Tune in, you know, ABC, just watch, you know, we don't know what's gonna happen, I remember that. I love you guys, I'm excited to post a video that's not a cover, because it's something that's different. And I hope you guys enjoyed this, sorry I'm a little like, not as socially awkward um, that I try to make look like comedy as I am in kind of other videos but this was just I felt it was a very important video to me and it was very sentimental so it was something I needed to get out I'll let you guys go love you guys to death more than you know can't wait to see what's to come and uh, I'm glad that you guys are here with me so see you next time bye but oh I'm supposed to be getting picked up, and I think, did he just go past my house? No, I have like 20 minutes, unless he's really early. In that case, I wanna be able to talk to you guys and make you feel like I'm a human being and not a human being. Anyway. Someone's here. I hope it's not the guy that's picking me up. Oh no, it's my dad. What the heck is he doing? It's like 2.30, we're supposed to be leaving in 10 minutes. I don't know where he just was. Dad, you do you, boo. Um, anyway. You guys make the dream. You guys, the team makes the dream work. And I think that's something how that goes. The team makes the dream. Something, something like that. And you guys are the dream team.